very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so just a quick review about the signals of the premium group and what's happening so far we can see that actually we had really a good start in the week and the beginning of the week uh, AUDCHF from the last week closed with eight pips of loss against really good profits happened later only this one 24 pips on NZDCAD uh, the next day we had actually I would say a 50-50 day because we had three uh, trades uh, has hit the take profit one uh, against one signal we had to close it with 45 pips of loss and another signal uh, 35 pips of loss also Euro JPY hit uh, sorry Euro pound hit 50 pips of profit and the day after we had really again very good results as you can see we had only one loss with zero pips like it's just a break even and also Euro AUD 7 pips of loss against uh, big numbers I mean Euro USD 50 pips of profits USD CAD 100 pips of profits I mean amazing really re that is what I really want that is actually the reality of Forex it's like that my friends it can never always be super profitable like every day uh, what happened yesterday in the extreme trader Forex signals, signals group was actually um, not the good day actually as you can see we had only euro euro pound 20 pips of profit only against one stop loss and also two pips of loss and zero pips loss which means break even if you check the other signals providers what they are doing they will just write stop loss stop loss stop loss and each stop loss can be 50 or 70 or 80 pips that's that, that is crazy while here we are an extreme trader trying to reduce the losses to the maximum and doing our best to grow your account and hopefully that is what we have achieved with so many clients and they are in my opinion countless so uh, if you wish to join the extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so today since we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy those who have joined the channel recently my friends i would like to welcome you here and of course um if you are watching me for the first time please go to my channel and watch this video right here the best forex strategy how to make 20 pips every day that is going to explain to you what kind of strategy i'm about to use in this video so uh let's go now to the uh, actual trading and of course as usual I just like to confirm that this is my live account and as usual let me just hide where the account number will be shown because I just don't want to show it to the public and as you can see right here it is uh, IC markets live server number 12 so all the trades you're about to see are gonna happen on my live account and that is only to confirm uh, actually to satisfy those who keep doubting uh, my videos I don't know why I'm doing it. Anyway, uh, let me just fix this uh, recorder, recording border. Um, why is it happening like that? Mm, okay, should be fine. All right, so uh, let me just delete that and let's go to the actual trading. So actually today what I'm planning to do, I'm planning to stick to the 15 minute time frame. Let's go first to the 15 minute time frame. And since I'm using actually um, not big, but it's okay account size, I'm gonna use the one lot size instead of zero point. And when I'm trading actually the 15 minute time frame, it's my favorite pair to go to the pound pairs, of course, the pound pairs. They are my favorite when I'm trading in the small time frame. Now, watching the 15 minute time frame on the pound MZD. Now on the pound NZD, we have a potential setup right here, right here. Uh, what we can see right here is we are having a strong resistance. It was a key resistance actually. Why it was a key resistance? Because we can notice here that once the market has reached this level of 1.92067, the trend, this was going an uptrend, uh, the, the direction of the trend has completely changed. The changing of the direction of the trend means a key support or key resistance. So that being said, the market after the breakout from the, the from that uptrend, it again went down and again went up again. So that is actually ju you just need to understand how this market moves uh, so you can uh, d make your decision about the next trade. 
So by seeing that, what we can see later on that we had eventually a bearish breakout candle. This is a bearish breakout candle from that resistance. Let me just uh, zoom in so I can show you. That is the resistance level. So what I'm waiting for right now is for the price or for the market to rise a little bit more, hit that previous resistance, and then I'm going to place my sell order. And if I place my sell order right here, if I place right here a sell, uh, I'm going to set this one here to be my take profit level because that is the nearest support to my entry. Uh, let's see how many pips is that. Perfect. It's going to be about between 15 and 16 pips, uh, which is fantastic. And that is actually the reason why it's called the 20 pips a day strategy because uh, on the when you are using it with the pound pairs or gold or euro CAD or euro AUD or euro NZD actually you can make a lot of profits from single reversal and if you go to the 4 hour chart it's really very small reversal what I'm seeking look at that on, on the 4 hour chart it's just a tiny reversal but on 15 minute time frame actually you can see in details the hidden things in the 4 hour chart so uh, unless this uh, sorry until this candle uh, is going to reach our uh, sell area let me pause the video please and I'll be back to you to open the sell order front of you all right so I was actually browsing the or actually checking the pairs and I think I'm going to place the sell order right away on the euro uh, AUD uh, please explain let me explain the <laughs> please explain <laughs> let me explain please the reason why did I place the sell order right here um, first of all going to the 4 hour chart we can notice that I am right right now on a resistance level now of course the first thing that you can think about is uh, Salah you always telling us to only sell the second or first attempt of a support or resistance but here on the Euro AUD we can see that we have one, two, three, and fourth attempt. You are right now, Salah, on the fourth attempt. What is the reason for that? Well, the reason is simple. Because right now we are not trading on the four hour chart. We are trading on the 15 minute time frame. What I am seeing right now on the 15 minute time frame can confirm to me that actually this level is gonna, uh, or this market here is gonna reverse. The reason, of course, my friends, is we are having, let me just show you. Uh, okay, let me just show you that we are having on the same level I have placed my sell order. We have right here the resistance level and also we are having here a strong resistance. Uh, it was also a support in the past. Now what we are seeing right now, forget the past or not forget the past but I mean w let's see what's happening right now. The very same level of the resistance I mentioned was also another resistance right here and that resistance has been followed again by this bearish breakout candle and the market was just right there that is the reason I have actually placed my sell order because actually seeing all of these bearish candles it doesn't uh, or actually it means that the market actually cannot move up right here it cannot actually exceed that resistance level because if it does or actually I don't think it can actually honestly speaking I think it can't that's why I have placed my sell order right here and since I have placed my trade right here, I'm going to exit at the nearest resistance. And let me just zoom in so I can show you. Now, since I have placed my trade right here, my friends, and that is actually a resistance level. Right now, we can see that the nearest resistance, to be honest, is this support. However, I'm actually going to uh, pass that. And I think the market is going to continue falling until it hit the nearest resistance to it which is this one so that is the nearest support and that is the nearest resist uh, the nearest resistance i'm gonna stick to this one here because i actually want to make some more profits out of this trade uh, because right now if i close it if i close the trade right now it's gonna be only six pips of profits meanwhile if i wait for the target it's gonna be 14 pips of profit which is actually uh, of course better so uh, the trade is going well so far as you can see and therefore uh, let's check the other pairs right now. Look at that. Amazing. Uh, we are already in very good profits. The account is already above $1,500 and the pair is reversing uh, quickly. Uh, just for the safety, let me just set the stop loss right here. And the stop loss is going to be exactly the same amount of the profit. Uh, the profit should be about $102 of profit. Good. 
let's go back to the uh, pound and ZD and the price did not yet reach our entry level uh, let me just try to find any other setup right front of you I don't really okay I was going to say I don't want to make your life uh, boring with the video however I think I think we can see a good setup on the euro oh, the pound card just want to be sure uh, the bullish candle seems actually strong let me go to the 4 hour chart just to confirm mm, not really no uh, the bullish momentum here my friends uh, seems really strong and the pair has just reversed from this resistance uh, support the trend line as you can see like that therefore i really doubt if i can consider this as a resistance one because it cannot be actually uh, since we had so many other attempts in the past and also the momentum as i said is very strong therefore uh, i'm not gonna place place uh, sell order here <coughs> i think it's gonna actually uh, break out from the resistance and let's just ignore this one let me just tell you something that actually the real strength or the real power of my strategy is to find the bounces of the candles this is what I'm searching for I'm just looking for any candle that I'm expecting for it to bounce after hitting a support or resistance level I'm aiming the strongest support and resistance levels and then try to find where I can expect the market to reverse for example for example USD GPY right now uh, it seems like it's gonna hit a support number one let me just show. I think there are we cannot expect yeah we cannot expect much much pips from the USD GPY uh, no no I'm not gonna trade it it's uh, not my thing actually uh, there are some pairs actually my friends which are good for scalping and others other pairs are really bad for scalping USD GPY is one of the really bad uh, pairs for scalping I have explained in the video of my strategy which pairs I prefer for scalping usually they are the pairs of the pound uh, euro NZD euro AUD euro CAD and the gold so I'm gonna search uh, these pairs okay let me now please pause the video and I'll be back to you once I find the next setup okay this is interesting actually right now I'm checking the gold and the gold on the 15 minute time frame we can see that we are clearly on a support number two and we already had here the support number one notice that the reversal from support number one was really strong and the market has made a strong shock or reaction once it had touched the level 1796.55 um, now of course since I'm gonna trade the gold I'm not gonna use one lot size that's gonna be insane in my opinion I'm gonna switch to 0 0.50 uh, when you are trading gold it's different from trading the other pairs uh, even 50 is actually a lot I'm thinking to change it uh, make it 0 0.40 that's just for the safety and let me just go again just check 30 minute time frame yes uh, it was the first attempt uh, sh I actually that should be fine and open the trade and of course as usual um, when you open the trade first it's gonna be in loss let's just wait some time and see ourselves be in profit look at that that is the reason why I really uh, I really love uh, scalping the gold uh, all, all I need is actually a small reversal like that my friends and I'm gonna get the 20 pips I want this is 18 point almost 19 pips of profit which is totally fine because as I said uh, I have placed my trade right here on the support level and the nearest resistance or support to my entry is right here that is actually a resistance remember I'm on the 40 so in the 15 minute time frame and you can confirm that this was the resistance by seeing it uh, on the past the same level it was also a support it was also a support right here that means that that support level has been broken out and it has re uh, recently become a new resistance as simple as that so we have set the, the, the take profit right here let me just set the stop loss and it should be actually actually the same so our profit is gonna be the same of the loss how many dollars how much dollars I mean uh, 75 dollars a uh, great yeah very nice all right so 
let me just set again this one to one lot size and I'm still waiting for the pound and the D actually to reach uh, the entry level it still didn't reach it so we might need to look so for more uh, for more pairs all right let me again please pause the video and I'll be back to you once I find another trade and back to the trades we can see that the euro AUD is about to hit the take profit level and just like it's just for two pips only I'm gonna close the trade no need to wait for it longer than that and yep we ended in profit $86 of profit was really good and oh wow wow check gold check out the gold actually I just went to drink water and came back and found that uh, gold has already reached the tech profit level as you can see it's just reversed 1.6 pips away uh, uh, before it and I'm gonna close the trade right now because there is actually no need to wait for it again uh, that is again one of the re uh, reasons I have to always keep my eyes on the trades because um, actually guys I don't really depend on the tech profit levels because usually I close the trades manually as you can see the trade has refers just 1.6 away before reaching the tech profit level so what do you do in this case of course close the trade no need to wait for it again to get um, to rise for another few pips okay so we have finished two trades we have earned really good money I think about 140 dollars in just short time and let's now continue to find another setups if I can uh, the problem with the market right now, look at the pound cad it has reversed for almost 20 pips ah what a bummer shit man I lost it I missed it I'm just trying to find any other setup to enter and hopefully I can find something actually because the market in general is ranging right now uh, Euro NZD still nothing good Euro CAD nothing good yet we might need to wait a while let me just pause the video please my friends and I'll be back to you later once I find another trade okay now back to the pound pairs and right now I'm checking the pound AUD uh, something interesting I can see right here is we're having that resistance level and again we're having right here a bearish breakout candle so seeing the pound actually going in a bearish momentum right now on all of the pairs I think it's gonna be a good idea to place the sell order uh, I'm just waiting for the right moment I'm waiting for the pound AUD to rise for another like two pips only yes yes that's enough that's enough that's enough that's enough again please guys notice the perfect entry the spread for the pound AUD is just less than one pip it's ranging between 1.2 and less than one pip amazing that is re really the reason I love trading with IC markets all right so we had this uh, this trade opened and since I have placed my trade right here we can exit our trade at the nearest support which which is exactly right here that should be about 10 pips of profit that should be fine it's not the best but I mean it's okay so uh, let's now and let's wait now and see what will gonna happen I think this is gonna be really one good deal also so yeah let me just pause the video and be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with this trade okay so actually I'm interesting to prove here my point and let me just uh, place another trade and I'm gonna reduce the lot size and another sell order was opened so uh, let me just explain to you what I'm doing here uh, actually one of the is one of the things I'm teaching on my channel is that when you are seeing a bearish breakout candle or a bullish for the matter uh, what you need to, uh, to do actually is you need to look at the nearest wick or tail to the candle or th to the bearish candle for in this scenario we are talking about a bearish candle so you need to look at the nearest tail to this bearish breakout candle and of course as you can see that is right here the nearest tail now what you need to do is mark the level uh, let me just increase the line here mark the put the put your line here your previous support line at the absolute bottom level of the tail now that is exactly the level where we can expect the previous support level to become right now the new resistance uh, that is actually one of the best levels to open another sell uh, orders because exactly here the pair is gonna reverse yes I placed my previous uh, sell order right here however I actually had the feeling or I knew it that the pair is gonna continue rising a little bit touching that previous let me just raise that touching that previous support level and then from that point is gonna reverse 
uh, as I said, I, uh, I actually had the feeling it's gonna happen and indeed it happened. That's why I had placed another sell order just because I really, uh, I just really want to confirm to you that my, uh, what I'm teaching right here and my theories are correct. So uh, what I need to do actually is I need to increase this one a little bit more because there is a chance that the market might again rise a little bit here and eventually this candle is gonna close below that level so let's wait and see what will gonna happen and if what i'm saying is correct what i'm saying is this candle is definitely gonna close like that exactly at the line i have drawn here i'm not gonna change it let me keep it for you so you can uh, see what, we, what will gonna happen later this candle still has one minute and 15 seconds for the closure uh, let me now pause the video and be back to you once this candle closes Alrighty, let me just tell you what's happening right now. Look at that. I mean actually, okay, let's see as I told you uh, I, Or I actually I told you that the candle actually gonna close like that Above that level. However, as you can see the candle did not close right here and the new candle opened there and now it's going down So what's the story? Okay my theory is still accurate, but let me just go now to the five minute time frame. Now check it out guys. I mean, really amazing. Look at that. Check that out. Look at that on the five minute time frame. We right here had the support level, the previous support level. And that is right here, the bearish breakout candle from that support and check that out. The reversal has happened exactly, exactly at the previous level of that support level and not only that it happened also exactly at the same level of the nearest tail to the breakout candle exactly as i told you so yes it is correct what i'm saying to you and however if it didn't happen on the bigger time frame you can go to the smaller time frame and you can see it happening in action right front of you and that is exactly what i did i saw that one and i said okay let's just wait and see what will gonna happen and indeed the reversal happened right there i actually was thinking to place another sell order here again again to have three orders opened uh, for the pound aud but honestly that will be insane and that's really not not it's not good. that's a proper trading that's not how trading forex is uh, sometimes uh, what you are what you are thinking might actually not work and opening three positions at one for one pair is actually one of the reasons you can end up wiping your account so just also be reasonable here we don't we are not joking uh, that is serious thing and therefore i cannot open more than actually Actually, I should not, I should not open more than one position. However, uh, I just felt um, how can I say that? I just felt like uh, I just really want to do it. I don't know why to open another trade. However, uh, it is wrong. Uh, it's not a good behavior, uh, and forex traders should not do that. Anyway, uh, let me please now pause the video, my friends, and I'll show you for the final results when this candle be. Actually, I think I'm gonna close this trade in profit as uh, soon as possible. Uh, suddenly, I don't feel it's gonna be smart to keep the sell order for the pound AUD after this rising because I was hoping for a reversal from that resistance level. And after the rise, this one, I don't really feel safe. Actually, I might close this trade with the uh, break even, honestly speaking. Right now we are in 0 0.79 uh, dollars only uh, of loss and I think I'm gonna take it. I mean, yeah, I just want to close this trade uh, break even because I don't feel safe in it anymore. So uh, in the end, we have managed to grow the account for almost, I think, uh, I, I don't know, I, okay, it has grown for $1,600, but I think we grow it for, I think, I don't remember exactly how much the amount. Uh, I think we have earned 100 um, 50 60 dollars in this uh, session however it was a quick session sorry 21 minutes uh, i tried my best to find for you the best positions however the market actually not so much active right now and right now it's uh, 11 70, uh, 57 a.m dubai time and the uk session is about to start that's why actually i thought it's better to end the video i'm gonna trade actually after like two hours after the market uh, calm after opening of the UK session. So, look at that bummer. Now it's moving down. Ah, shit. <laughs> anyway, it's all right. It's all good. It's all cool. We have made some uh, decent profits. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.